even more Mauritania for you here today, looking at some out of place channels, including such classics as this one right here, like a ravine looking very regular, like some type of channel or weird groove. And also this one over here. This is a, this is a classic in my book. My nerdy little book. And let's look at the straightness of it. And I'll give you a better look at this later. But just a, a quick preview of what we'll be looking at. Some channel-like features. Quite, quite linear and uh, out of place. So, uh, let us get the place marks going and see what I've uh, flagged. And I'll try and cover as much as I can. So we've already looked kind of up here a little bit. We've covered this area a little bit over here as well and right here and over here. And why don't we do the uh, Rashad structure area this time and then we will maybe work our way over here if we have time and then maybe over here as well. Check out some of this stuff if the video is not too long. So let's get right into this area over here. Um, one more look at this very parallel area, these uh, very parallel grooves or lines or uh, layers, some type of geological feature or cataclysmic feature or who knows really. The parallel, they're, uh, they're very parallel, that's, they're almost almost perfectly parallel. I wouldn't say they're perfectly straight uh, and they're not perfectly regularly spaced, but they are very odd looking to me, but I kind of already covered that last time. So I'm sure if we looked super closely, we could find some weird things, but uh, anyways, let's go to the big old Eye of Africa. So it's so-called Atlantis. Some people think it's remains of Atlantis. It's like concentric mud rings or something is the natural explanation. Um, it could be a natural feature which is artificially edited and then these rings are, uh, so these rings around it are um, artificially edited somehow or both natural and artificially uh, edited. Um, so, yeah, the idea that uh, these rings are machined or, in some sense, uh, artificial. Uh, okay, what are we seeing here? Some nice little triangles here. That might be modern stuff. Uh, that's pretty interesting, actually. Well, let's look in the historical photos. Uh, so it's looked the same since 2005. Really could be anything, including any modern type of activity, but uh, potential old earthworks. Um, let's see, here too. Um, old earthworks. And this isn't really what I want to focus on. I just happened to stumble onto it. Uh, there might be some, well, yeah, some other stuff here as well, down the way a bit. And we'll keep an eye out for any modern settlements or uh, activity, industrial activity, because that always needs to be considered as well. Um, just looking for any more of those derpy triangles. That, uh, that I hadn't noticed before. Uh, but whatever. Um, but we do have plenty of straight lines, so let's look at some of those. Uh, first of all, this natural or 
probably natural uh, crisscrossy looking pattern in the rock layering that needs to be taken into consideration. Um, here, these these large scale uh, para, uh, fairly straight parallel grooves that go along this path here, those are interesting and possibly suspicious, like some clean, very clean edges of it there. Uh, like here especially, very clean straight edge for a stretch here. Maybe even this line, whatever that is. Uh, let's follow this one. Yeah, kind of a clean straight edge. Mm. Looking a little more natural over here, perhaps. Kind of like some kind of path here. Really difficult to say for sure. So enough on that one. Uh, so many straightish paths like this all around the circular rim of this giant structure. So uh, I only, I only uh, place marked a few of them, but let's look at a couple. So this is pretty straight. I mean, not that that can't be natural, but it's just worth noting. Here's a less straight one over here, or at least a more meandering pattern within a potentially straight uh, wider ravine. Uh, so what else we got? Um, let's see. Possible angular thing there. Maybe not. Couldn't tell you. Um, place marks, straightish paths. Here's a pretty, pretty straight one. Let's hide that real quick. So this, uh, this one right here, try and follow it both ways. Uh, kind of lose it in the sand. But uh, here it is, kind of starts here. Maybe even something here. But they're looking pretty straight and regular. Could be a road. Uh, there's just so many of these. I don't know. And yeah, like this one as well. Looking a little... Well... Uh, right here, just kind of awkwardly straight. And so, I mean, if you've already watched the other Mauritania videos, you might not see much new stuff in this video, so you could even turn it off, but you're probably curious about the Rashad structure itself, because there's so many possibilities. So it's just worth uh, pointing out what's similar here to the surrounding area. Here we see uh, Pretty, I'm fairly confident to say that's some type of artificial straight groove there. And even this, like this uh, awkwardly wedged out area that has these straight edges here, uh, I would say that may be an indication of something artificial as well. Kind of get a look at it from a higher altitude and see what's going on. Um, hmm and some other stuff I'm noticing as well. Like possibly like this little angle there. Uh, uh, what else? Oops, I should turn these back on. One moment, please. Visual. Again, not all of these are going to be channels, like the, the topic of this episode, but uh, they kind of resemble channels, some of them. So uh, just repeating one more time that we're looking at the entire area, uh, focusing both on the, the ones that look like straight, straight uh, channels or short channels, and then also just whatever odd phenomena are in the surrounding areas. So here, this one as well, I would say, 
is a little odd, potentially. And eventually we're gonna need like super solid drone footage from multiple angles of these uh, uh, particular examples, um, which may or which may already exist. Actually, it's just a matter of stringing it all together. Uh, but there's a lot of interest in the Rashad structure specifically, um, apparently lately. So I think pretty soon we should have a lot of good video if it's not out there already. I haven't really looked to be honest. Um, maybe even this line. Uh, looking a little more now. See here we have this kind of angular path. Not to say that can't be a footpath, but also like these here. Like what is that? Uh, here as well. It's these parallel lines in multiple directions. Uh, large scale straight parallel gouges, maybe, maybe. So here I'm looking at this one. Edge of it there, maybe. Here, here we see kind of a n more narrow. Well, I might be cherry cherry picking there, but. Path edges, let's look at that. Path edges. Mm, I think I'm looking at here, right here. This edge and then this right here. So like these would be two outer edges of some type of maneuver. Uh, that went like this or whatever it did. Um, it's possible. And here, I'm seeing like this right here, maybe. Although it looks kind of like these, but I don't know what's going on with these either. It's a, it's basically probably a lot of that is just this kind of thing, what we're seeing. But some of it's kind of strange looking. Okay, parallel lines, three directions, path edge. Like here, maybe. Perhaps. So parallel lines in this direction, uh, this direction, and this direction uh, could be the natural layering of the rock or natural weather flows just eroding the material in different orientations. I, I it wouldn't surprise me if it's some sort of uh, uh, finishing touch uh, type of maneuver or uh, uh, the addition of um, details or just uh, I can't think of the word I'm looking for but uh, crap I can't think of the word um, it'll come to me let's just go to the next one maybe these like texturing or surface finish, like a surface finish, you know, like you would do on a nice wood table or something like that. You might do some uh, texturing or whatever. So this might be some type of texturing op operation to make it look more natural. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, uh, just the three orientations of parallel lines is slightly odd to me. And that's pretty common phenomenon around the world, so it might just be a normal geological thing that I'm not, not acquainted with. Um, and yeah, uh, could be like a, a relatively deep operation as well, like some type of uh, ma uh, maneuver or uh, imposed pattern that uh, goes pretty, f pretty deep into the surface. This, this could even go like hundreds or thousands of feet deep this pattern and that doesn't necessarily mean it's natural <clears throat> um, again it's still i'm not convinced it's artificial but it kind of looks like it might be so just spitballing 
considering some ideas. So here, looking like some parallel weirdness here, perhaps. Uh, what else? This one, pretty clean edge there, I would say. Perhaps. And let's keep moving. Multiple paths. Okay, so like here, this orientation, this orientation, this orientation. So I don't think these are all roads. That would very much surprise me. Oh, or if these are all trails. I think there's some type of artificial editing. Like that. Yeah, and then maybe even there, maybe even some of these little finer ones. Uh, there's not a lot I can say about this, not a lot of general commentary I can throw in there that I haven't really uh, said multiple times in previous episodes, in previous videos. So, uh, so nothing. <laughs> I didn't really have a, an end to that sentence, but just saying I've kind of already said what I need to say about most of these potential lines. And that's kind of a relief. I don't have too many other place marks in this area. Even though I probably could find more stuff. Uh, and I think other people have found a whole bunch of stuff in this area as well. So you might look around at what other people are saying about this area. Circular tool marks. I'm not sure what I'm discussing here. Maybe the, uh, just the, oh, I think just the large scale rings. Yeah, I think that's all I mean. Like, just the idea that these rings are not natural, that they're uh, imposed upon the surface. It's possible, certainly possible. I cannot uh, prove it definitively. How about this guy over here to the, to the left of it, to the west, I guess? Uh, long fine streak is road, trail. Yeah, probs. Um, let's see. So I'm looking at this here. And then it goes across here as well. And kind of multiple. Uh, it's either natural or a man-made uh, use of that natural pattern. And something modern over here it looks like. And then it picks up again, whatever it is, uh, yeah, whatever that is. This trail, perhaps just a foot trail or a road, dirt road, those are hard because those could also be like the tool paths of the, the project I'm talking about, but since it looks so much like a road, I can't really go out on a limb and assert that too strongly. Um, where were we? Okay, right here. So what's at the end of this line over here? Some kind of scrapey scrapes, so some kind of industrial something. And whatever's, yeah. And this is looking like a road, probably. Look at quick historical photos. Um, yeah, so I think these, whatever's going on here is relatively new. Yeah. Okay. So this is modern stuff. All right. Noted. We have people here doing whatever. Uh, and I think here as well. Yeah, so we've got a decent size uh, city over here. Um, I doubt they're terraforming the whole landscape, but they're definitely making an impact. Uh, okay. This, uh, okay, so the Rashat structure and then um, this other circular feature, which is worth noting, I would say. 
um, a crater or something. I couldn't tell you. Uh, a fish pupil. <laughs> I, I hope it's that one. I don't know if I believe that's the best candidate for a good answer or for the right answer. But I hope that's the right answer because that's the funniest. Um, uh, okay. Uh, briefly, just the idea that this whole thing is a fish up here. <laughs> and that's his eye and someone plucked out the eye, put it there. And they plucked out the pupil and put it there. That's, uh, it's one theory. And it's my theory, but I don't subscribe to it. I just take it into consideration. I'm always trying to, like, cover my ass, if you've noticed, because just in the event that uh, I want to do something normal in the world, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a chicken. I should just, I should just um, lay eggs. Okay, well, I think we covered all the place marks in this uh, Rashad structure area. I would encourage you to go scrolling around yourself, because I actually didn't spend too much time on this uh, particular location looking for stuff. So if you did, you might find some interesting stuff, like this perhaps. Maybe. Trails, odd thingamajigs, uh, but yeah, go looking for stuff. I would be interested to see if you guys can find, or if people can find any more stuff in the area like this. There's probably already videos on it, but, um, well, I guess we got to consider that there's modern people doing something here, maybe. <clears throat> Um, okay, well, let's move on to additional place marks. Let's go uh, to the west over here, to this area, and see what we've got. So, this is an odd feature here, and if it's a road, I will feel a little bit silly. Um, Forgive the load time, please. Uh, it's the the rim of this guy. This cliff or ravine or something, or hillside. And it's... I'm just looking for straightness or awkward artificialness. And here we go. There's fairly straight and regular. It's just I can't be sure that that's not a road, although it looks like it might be interrupted by some stuff in the middle here. So this may be some type of artificial path we're looking at. Uh, that's not a road. I think that's quite possible. Yeah, some, some kind of pathy uh, artificialness to it. Uh, let me drop a place mark real quick. Um, Jeopardy music again, waiting music. Uh, of long, wide path. Uh, that's possible. Same thing here. Edge of long, wide path. So let's follow it down to where I had that place mark. Maybe even this, whatever this is. Uh, maybe this line across here might be something worth investigating. Um, Potentially. Uh, yeah, very hard to make out. The imagery here is not super clear. Or the, the coloring is pretty dark. But 
whatever this is. Sorry, one second. Just looking at something. Um, let's go back down to where my place marks were. Okay, down here. So let's try and figure this out. This goes down here. Some type of straight edge maybe there. And continuing to follow it here and looking like some type of more natural edge or ridge or ravine or something but this one not looking very natural it's looking a little more regular and then here we see like see this faint path to the right side of it like there's this dark darker uh sorry darker aspect there and then slightly to the right there's like a, a lighter streak and then we kind of see that continuing here and it's looking very straight here in my opinion and here almost an angular direction change and looking pretty straight again here we see almost uh, it's difficult to tell but it's derpy for sure it's it's awkward in my opinion uh, it's awkwardly regular um, this path here and just following it and seeing how it uh, meets up with this ridge or ravine over here or path or whatever it is uh, which kind of just trails off over here whatever it is it might be natural but it just it's like meets at a right angle almost with this other very straight regular one that goes across here and i'm not i'm not seeing it as a road i might yeah it doesn't strike me as a road can't be a hundred percent sure but uh yeah, it's continuing here, very long, long path or ridge. And here, Let's see, does it continue? Maybe, kind of lose it there. Yeah, I don't know where it goes, but uh, yeah, so that's that. Just an example of long channel-like or ridge-like very regular structure doing some weird tracing some fairly regular path there and uh, here's a look from this this zoom level here see the artificialness of it and maybe over here as well looking at this yeah probably yep it's looking like this maybe artificial over here this line see that whatever that is long straight line of some kind pipeline maybe if it's a road it's kind of obscured or or interrupted here uh, and then it picks up again over here and then it looks like it starts to meander a little more naturally here uh, looking fairly regular for quite a quite a length and then here maybe a trail or a tool path or a road or something a little triangle there maybe uh, some faint lines or indications of something like here but yeah this, this line here artificial something or other edge of some kind of very straight something and I don't know how far it goes but uh, maybe even another something here yeah uh, and like maybe here as well this very 
reg, uh, regularly spaced uh, channel or channel way, whatever. It's a long line path. Did I get this already? Yeah, I covered that. Um, okay, so some possible straight lines here and there or here and then some other place marks uh, up here. So let's check this out. Hmm, are the twists and folds of the rock natural in this area? Uh, that's an interesting question. Uh, I ask because they seem to be like to abruptly like end in some parts or like be like segmented uh, flows. Uh, so possibly some rich artificial awkward pattern going on. We see almost these like isosceles or right triangles. I, I can't remember what the word <laughs> isosceles means. It's been a while, but uh, like like these. I've, I, actually, this isn't the first time I've seen this. Uh, just these right triangles, kind of just chilling out here. Can't remember where where else I saw them, but maybe we'll see more of them. Uh, Yeah, maybe some angles like that. Uh, what else? Mm, like this, even like that angle. Perhaps, I mean. I just wonder if something can maybe uh, manipulate rock at this level, like uh, stone bedrock i wonder what its what its capabilities are if it can create these rich natural flowy patterns here we see these patterns kind of meeting this like three-way junction here um obviously could be natural um just considering that it's not here we go like arg this looks very awkward to me like this, looking like it might be natural. And then like just this little like square wave or um, these angular chunks, like see here, here even, like this angular, it's very faint, but it's like angular thing there and maybe even there, like, uh, like little Tetris pieces or blocks almost. And it looks like a pretty angular rough pattern that the rock wants to naturally break up into uh, but are we seeing that alongside artificial stuff possibly like er, er, er. I wonder okay I don't know if we're gonna get a uh, a better look at this or a better example than what we've already seen here. Maybe this straight path here, but that looks like it might be tire tracks. So I'll probably skip that one. Uh, okay. And maybe this tick mark thingy, maybe not. Um, hmm. Okay, what other place marks do we have? Straight path or flow over here. See like these segmented uh, ends of these or interrupted. This might just be a, uh, a flow of water downhill or something. So maybe I shouldn't speak too soon on that. But like this line here, see this line down the hillside, it just looks discontinuous and strange and kind of like this too just the way these two these flows are interrupted and it's uh, irksome okay so what am I talking about straight path or flow maybe even an out of place channel um, so it's like from here I think we see something and it's pretty obscured by the 
the rest of the flowiness, but you see some kind of straight trajectory overall, almost fairly straight, not perfectly straight, but like there, like somebody smeared these patterns almost and some potential very parallel lines here looking a little awkward almost too regular like these lines over here obviously look more natural but then these three in particular one two three maybe four they look just just a little awkwardly regular and parallel just too perfect just a little too perfect if you ask me and then i don't think i had a well maybe i did yeah here we go uh yep path there of some kind uh, and then looking like maybe here as well let's look at this guy somewhat linear-ish there and then certainly here what do we have this kind of natural rivery pattern or rivery rivery uh ravine or river path uh just looking at this guy could be like diamond mining or something just like a an exploratory vehicle just decided to go blazing up the mountainside looking for stuff or something but there we have it whatever it is some kind of faint path might even be a foot trail and looks like two faint uh, light brown lines so it might even be tire tire tracks or a vehicle path I don't know Pretty straight, whatever it's doing. Uh, I don't think it's a traditional vehicle path because it's just like, like here we have a, like a river or something here or some type of natural crevice or uh, uh, whatever it is, uh, groove or ravine or whatever. And then here, this straight line is kind of just blazing across that still. So I think this straight line is some type of artificial weirdness. And again, if you ever want to look at these, any of these examples for yourself, um, you can always download my place marks and then just uh, type uh, whatever the, the title of the place mark is into the search here. And this one in particular, is, I probably have like a thousand place marks with the word path so you might not be able to find that one as easily but uh, yeah just a quick reminder okay so I guess enough of this area I'm sure we could find more if we did some random zooms but uh, I don't know how fruitful that would be because <clears throat> we've already seen quite a bit um, all right, where else do we have place marks? Let's keep moving to the left or the west over here. So our shot structure, this was where we were just looking, and then let's move over here. What am I saying? Many straightish ravines here and long straight grooves parallel. Okay, so these, I think I'm talking about these lungs, these grooves like this right here. Uh, these, these guys, this, these grooves, very similar to what we've seen in nearby areas. And looking like it might go this way as well. So, uh, where'd it go? Yeah, again, considering that I've, uh, I've already said it pretty much, but 
artificial something, artificial editing, potentially. Just kind of looking around here. Cool, cool. What else we got? Very long straight line. So this guy, not necessarily anything other than these, these uh, straight lines across that we're seeing, but it, it's particularly abrupt in my opinion. Um, let's get the text out of the way so we can get a good look at this guy. So here we have, yeah, the fine, fine groove, which is looking pretty awkward. And here it's like in the dirt more, like more so than in the rock. Uh, I don't know how how sh how deep this loose sand goes, but here's some interesting uh, edges to whatever feature this is. We get a pretty decently clear look at whatever's going on here. This looking like it's probably a road. Potentially, at least. Uh, but this guy might even be a road. Gotta acknowledge that possibility. And here we see possible faint uh, parallel ish or parallel ish uh, accompanying line there to the, off to the side. And then interrupted by this thing and then continuing over here we see uh, and then interrupted by these sand flows and a big fairly wide uh, groove here so here over here it's like really fine or it like peters off and is pretty pretty finely spaced here. I compare that spacing to like over here it's a little wider spaced and then over here it's obviously a little wider spaced and then over here it's very widely spaced uh, unless it's just utilizing the natural ravine that's al already there that's possible but it kind of looks like a, a big gash across the landscape that um, that tapers at the ends, if that makes sense, or tapers intermittently, kind of awkwardly, some kind of straight path here maybe, see some the edges of this, like fairly regular edges, or well-defined, and even this certainly looks like a road, yeah, I guess that's probably a road circle thingy, who knows what that is, um, stone circle maybe, could be, okay, uh, let's keep following this guy, and it continues over here, see the edges of it, pretty regular edges, like wide, wide edges of this, or, um, fairly regularly spaced edges of this and not looking like a continuous road because it's just kind of this river just like completely interrupts it um, unless that river is new to the area but I don't think so I think so so here's a good good image 2003 maybe even seeing the edge of it there edge of something Maybe edge of something here. But this long feature still continuing. And um, yeah, I, I guess we could we could look at the whole thing, but just along random stretches of it, it's it's got these pretty clearly defined what I'm saying are probably artificial edges. And it doesn't look like a long continuous road, in my opinion. I think it's just a long artificial gash that that has some tapering aspect to it. 
in some places it kind of thins out in other places it's wider just as a way to uh, add some realism into the algorithm maybe okay and I'm seeing some other stuff as well while we're over here uh, so anything else I want to say on this that's just a long probably artificial gash that's uh, tooled or manipulated in in some fashion by uh, some kind of technology okay what was I seeing over here I was seeing kind of subtle but this like almost triangular gouge here and not too well defined but kind of it's kind of like a triangle kind of some angles here and some angular patches or angular grooves if you ask me and uh, oops all right let's get my place marks back on and check out what else is in the area fine parallel slice marks looks like um, okay, so this is looking pretty regular. Uh, this is another place where it gets just beyond my threshold of of uh, a pattern that that might be natural, and it still might be natural. I've, I gotta acknowledge that. But just from from a certain distance, they just uh, they start to look pretty awkward awkwardly regular a little too perfect mm. can't say for sure obviously here looking yeah same deal and long straight grooves yeah so same thing there um, let's look at this long groove here so we had a good look at this gash or path or whatever this thing is and then uh, this guy whatever this is like see here we see some type of clearly defined edges of something whether it's a natural rock layers or path of some type of vehicle or something but looking like an artificial path going here and then possibly uh, or some in some fashion it continues along this groove I think this groove is likely artificial uh, Hmm. And we notice that it's not as straight. Perfect. Uh, not yeah, not as straight as this other one over here. Even though this one's not, uh, it has kind of a curve to it. it. Looks like this one meanders a bit, or it's kind of craggy and irregular. Uh, perhaps. And uh, see, continuing over here, looking a little more regular and straightish. Yeah, like here, looking fairly artificial. Here, especially. Yeah, see that. Look right there. Something's going on. And we see do we see the width of it changing? Like this? Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it might be getting narrower. And looking pretty well defined there. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing artificial on this one. Mm. 
Mm. And again, the how, I don't know how exactly. I don't, I don't think we're going to get a good answer to that on my YouTube channel. So, uh, and it's not particularly important in my opinion anyways. Or not as important as the fact that it's artificial to begin with. Um, okay, interesting bumpy texture. Texture. Uh, I wouldn't say that's bumpy. I would just say it's kind of eroded. Eroded rock here, like this, like this shape does. Like this could be one of those wonky ways they they add in a little extra. Um, uh, contrived uh, hmm. like if, if you had a, a, a blender knob or fader between uh, natural and uh, artificial looking like you, this one looks like it's slightly more towards the uh, artificial end of the spectrum like just this, ooh, 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 and even like here, <laughs> and it's it's not a hundred percent. Obviously, it's 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 subtle and it's um, it's too natural still to just say artificial, artificial. Um, but I I it still bugs me a little bit enough to uh, include it in the video or to comment on it, uh, even these lines here, maybe, maybe like this notch type of thing we're seeing, perhaps, some similar stuff there, but looking more natural. See some of these notches, or what I'm calling like a notch at the top, they just look like a pretty natural flow, but, uh, and then in other places, like, uh, like we saw at the beginning of the video, like down here, these notches are just, are too perfect in my opinion, like this guy, uh, where'd it go? There's this other one, this one for sure. It's like a little too perfect, a little too straight. If you ask me. Uh, let me try and find where we just were so I don't lose my spot. We're somewhere over here. Interesting bumpy texture. We're looking around there. Patchy pattern. What do we got? That looks like it's probably modern work. So let's see if we can figure it out. Yeah, it looks pretty new. Patchy patterns. Yeah, we see tire tracks. So it could be any number of things. This likely a road, most most likely. Um, this line I don't know about. That might be artificial or uh, uh, strange. Let's see, yep. uh, okay. So this patchy pattern. This area looking kind of patchy a little bit, maybe. But it's probably these guys doing whatever they're doing. Uh, let's see what's. We we'll see little little angular chunks out of this surrounding area, perhaps. Mm, stone circle, maybe. Tough to say. This notch here, maybe. Uh, but this patchy pattern. Yeah, it's new, so it's modern stuff. What else we got? Uh, fine parallel grooves, I think I... Oops. Let me get oriented real quick. For shot structure, on groove, fine parallel slice marks. Any straightish grooves, bumpy texture. 
Okay, um, let's check this guy out. Many long straight grooves. Yeah, same type of deal. Just kind of from a zoomed out perspective. See that the deep creases in the landscape. Not looking super regular here, looking more flowy and natural. Uh, who knows? Maybe this something here. Here's a good look at one of these long creases. And man, you see, actually, are we seeing a change direction there? It looks like it. If it's if it's a natural feature, it's kind of awkward that it just does that. Uh, or it could be a, you know, actually, on second thought, it could be just two natural features meeting. Uh, here's some parallelness. Maybe, I don't know. Fake natty, fake natural. Fairly straight one there. But fairly clean, at least. Fairly clean groove there. This direction as well. See some kind of linear aspect to it. Okay, uh, so many long straightish grooves, and what are people doing? Uh, got some people doing stuff here. Uh, not sure what they're up to, but I'm sure it's wonderful. What else we got? Uh, bear with me. I'm just some things are catching my eye as I'm scrolling, so I'm giving them a quick look. This looking a little awkwardly chunky and angular. These parallel grooves, and presumably this is like erosion along the naturally differentiating grooves. So it's like there's some, some type of seam in the rock, and then the erosion happens slightly differently along that seam, and then uh, it leaves this groove as the very slow erosion process continues. Um, like, yeah, see here, it almost looks like it goes up here, maybe down, it's hard to tell. Uh, it's interesting, noteworthy. Here, looking like, gotta say, some type of path. Okay. All right, let me uh, get back on the place marks. We've got these guys up here. So straight parallel grooves. Uh, already went over that. Long kind of straight parallel grooves, yeah. I'm looking at this right here. Certainly this, but that may be, what is this? Is this modern work? Uh, like this here, and then this, whatever that is. This is not looking like modern activity to me, so let's check it, check it out. Like there's people here, but I don't know if I buy that this is modern uh, activity. This. Hmm. Okay, whatever. 
And then up here, what do we have? Fine parallel grooves. More of the same, basically. Just uh, seams in the rock or whatever. This looking interesting, maybe. Uh, okay, nothing really to see there. Same type of deal here. Maybe something there. All right, that's interesting. This better be a road. Otherwise, you're busted, Earth. Uh, this is what I'm looking at. This here. And then this one coming at an angle, basically a right angle to it. I'm looking for a continuation of it down here. So looks like it continues as this more windier pattern and then is this this is a natural river or something looks like uh, <laughs> so i think what we're seeing we got to follow this one though this is a foot trail maybe or a dirt road or like a half-assed dirt road that they just kind of haven't maintained right here looking like it uh, hmm. So I think, like, if you look at the fairly clean edge of it there, I don't know that we're looking at a differential erosion of a natural rock seam or ribbon. I think this is something awkward and artificial. I'm seeing kind of more of it like there, like that. Yeah, this similar technique. So I think there's a good chance that a lot of this cross-hatching pattern is imposed on the surface of the earth uh, in some sophisticated fashion and probably deceptive fashion uh, or for deceptive purposes. And of course there's people nearby so that this could be mining activity or something. It's certainly possible. So I gotta backtrack 10 or 20 percent on the certainty. Uh, yet again, here. Uh, arg. Yeah. And uh, once more, I'll throw this out there, this possibility. Here, looking a little abrupt, but not particularly straight, or not perfectly regular. Uh, but I should once more throw out the possibility that um, civilizational activity is uh, sneakily um, planned and uh, uh, constructed in the areas of most blatant artificialness or uh, from the remainder of this artificial project as a way of obscuring the nature of the artificial project or attempting to hide it or make it seem less likely that it's true and seeing some interesting ridges or lines here kind of very similar to what we've seen in other spots yeah, I, I'll bet you we could spend another two hours looking at this. Um, yeah, looking pretty regular there. See that? Regular edges, or at least very straight seams of rock material of some kind. Um, let's, yeah, what, what was I seeing? I was seeing, uh, oh, one, one second like a triangular feature somewhere and it, uh, crap it was there I had it but yeah uh, just in general these ridges are striking me as fairly strange come on I gotta find it
I'll just enjoy a, a aimless tour while I look for what I was seeing a moment ago. Is it this? No. I think I was seeing this. Okay. Yeah. So, seeing this, this is what caught my eye, this, well, I was thinking it looked like a, a triangular feature, but I think it's just where these seams kind of meet, and look at that, isn't that awkward? And then maybe turning, changing direction, or actually maybe continuing this one. Now these very straight seams of earth. Hmm. I don't know. Bear with me for a moment. I'm just trying to figure out what the modern people are doing in the area. Looks like some type of extensive work. <laughs> Just ditches and stuff. And in a if I get to it in this episode, I may I may not, because this episode is kinda getting long already. Or video. I always say episode instead of video. Um But if I get to it in this video We'll see, uh, where is it? Like, I think, let me get my bearings. I think down here in this area over here, maybe over here, uh, we're going to see some, what look like stone circles, just like the weird stone circle pattern, but they're, sh they're popping up recently. So I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering like what these people are doing. Uh, they're, they're making some odd patterns. So, uh, let me get oriented real quick and then. Maybe we'll work our way down there. So I think that pretty much does it for the most part for this area. Forgive me for a moment. I'm just trying to find our spot. I think this is the last one I showed you more or less. And then I went scrolling around. Okay, what is this? Uh, multiple directions of streaks or grooves. Was it stuff digging in during a flood? Okay, uh, so I'm just asking the question here if these uh, crease marks or big scarring of the landscape is like uh, debris carried along during a gigantic flood, which uh, like big chunks of mountains and stuff, which scarred the landscape as they were carried by the water. That's certainly possible. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the multiple orientations of them, because that would mean there would have to be floods going in multiple directions. Um, not out of the question, but just needs to be considered uh, looking like some type of artificial edge there potentially and yeah go do your own random zooms in this area you'll see hopefully you'll see a lot of stuff jumping out at you at least enough to make you ask some probing questions All right, let's go to more place marks. Uh, it's, I guess, down the way here. I think we're pretty much done with this. Uh... Sorry, getting distracted. Yeah, I already got that last episode. Um, yeah, so let's work our way down here. Uh, from the Rashad, we looked at all this. Now we're working our way south, and what do we see? Long fine groove is a toolpath of some kind. It's possible. Just yet another 
one of these long grooves or scars or ribbons of differentially eroding material potentially. Here, see, continuing there. Uh, here. Uh, obscured by this uh, flowy area. And then picking up again over here. And yeah. I don't think we need to spend too much time on that. I've already described it quite a bit, but uh, yeah, it looks like it picks up again after this additional river system area here. See the edges of it here, whatever it is. Like it, I'm, I'm thinking it's like too subtle and too weird, uh, too uh, derpy and wonky, the patterns we're seeing, um, to fit the bill of a like typical mechanical device making these patterns. So I don't know that that's a, a great explanation. Here we say put potential angular edges like that and that uh, this. See, the, it's subtle, but see these faint little edges here or short edges. It's just very awkward and uh, goofy. Uh, all right. So good. I think we got a good enough look at that and this probably similar deal here. Could be natural, who knows, whatever. Moving on. And uh, crap, got a whole bunch of stuff in this area. So uh, maybe just knock out a few of these and call it a video. Uh, let's do, let's limit it to, uh, give me one moment while I read my place marks. That's patchy area. Hmm. Who cares? Uh, doesn't matter for this episode. Okay, we'll skip that area. So I think we'll we'll do these place marks right here, and then these couple place marks over here. And then we'll save this stuff for the next video. But yeah, let's do that. Um, it's large scale curved line. So I'm looking at this here. And it's very large scale, obviously. And once again, um, reiterating the idea that this, okay, here we see some fairly well-defined edges of it, perhaps. Uh, I don't know whether these are footpaths or roads or something. Here we see a, a nice road. This, that might be a, a dirt road or path, yeah, industrial path. So these might be industrial paths as well, uh, like this. Um, I'm seeing like the edge of this here, and then here and here, kind of. Just like the idea that this is a long artificial scar. This could certainly be a long natural scar. This might may not be the best example, but I think I was starting to uh, discuss the idea that, uh, oh crap, I gotta ad address this now too, um, that the protocol I'm talking about is scale and domain complete. So scale complete and domain complete. So what am I, what do I mean by that? Uh, so, so one domain might be the surface of the earth. Uh, another domain might be human affairs, like religion or politics or something like that. Um, so that would mean whatever weird, wonky, derpy, awkward protocol or algorithm, if there even is one, uh, whatever that is, it's mapped to these uh, multiple domains. Also archaeology and stuff, we'll see 
uh, some similar type of themes. Uh, I haven't actually discussed uh, a whole bunch of... I've, I've only really scratched the surface of what I'm going to talk about on the uh, archaeology angle or domain. And then also the uh, scale idea. Obviously this would be a very large scale maneuver, but they may have uh, a... Uh, like a fractal or a uh, hierarchical or multi-level um, application method for their their protocol or their uh, their maneuvers or their edits or their I don't know their on their rollouts of whatever steps of their agenda they're trying to pull off. Um, so they, they're doing big stuff and small stuff and smaller stuff and, and sub sub patterns and yet smaller sub patterns and stuff like that. So they may have, they may have a scale complete technology is what the point I'm trying to make here. And maybe even, uh, well, yeah, scale complete domain complete. Uh, well, I don't know if you could be complete over the in infinite number of domains we could list, but you get the idea, I think. And I'm seeing some angular stuff going on here. Uh, so, what's this guy? Fairly straight edge there. Yeah, for sure. Pretty straight, regular ravine, at least along stretches of it um, and see some kind of angular stuff going on maybe some faint parallel lines possibly or flowy parallel lines uh, okay let me try not to get too sidetracked over here it's kind of angular or um, Yes, yeah, slightly angular something or other here. Path to this river. Might even be a little dirt road, so it's... Yeah. But, okay, I feel like I need to address whatever's going on over here. Um, so we have these... I don't know if these are stone walls or what, but they're like amoebic kind of globular blobby uh, boundaries or borders or if it's a fence or something and uh, there's not much going on within these patches of land so it's like just this poly polygons of something or other and as I say that, I could think of some conventional explanations for these patterns. Um, they still bother me a little bit. Like here we see like some type of either like a roof or some type of modern something. But these are new. These uh, patterns, haphazard patterns of, uh, not sure if they're stone walls, like stacked rocks or whatever they are. But they're popping up uh, over recent years, um, and there there appear to be crews of people making these. So, for farming, that's possible. Uh, like this little sub sub uh, geometry, this this one on the outside. See, uh, it doesn't seem entirely rational. But then again, maybe they're their strategy is just to kind of just build whatever like uh, here seeing some I don't know what we're seeing they're just kind of building random walls and random spots here we go Here we see some possible more recent stuff. 
Maybe they just like farm a little area and then move on to a new area after a couple months. It's possible. Uh, and then they put up like a fence to keep the animals out or whatever. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, that actually is probably the most likely explanation because we see these regular arrays of trees, which um, maybe just kind of disappear after like a few months after they're harvested. Like they just do one, one or two or three seasons on a patch of land and then move to a new patch. That's probably the most likely explanation for this, so I should probably leave this for now. But I, I, yeah, I was thinking about the possibility that the stone circles everywhere are like uh, not only ancient work, but modern work as well. But okay, uh, yeah, got that place mark, this one, it's the Rashat structure up there, um, long, fairly straight edge, large scale. You see civilization here. And... You know, my attention span is waning, so yours probably is too. So in the next video, we will cover more of this stuff. Please join me. Uh, okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.